What is going on guys, Miles here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be finally hitting Prestige 8 in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. I haven't done a Prestige video in a very long time, if you missed my last one I'll leave a link in the description so you can compare my stats if you want, but let's jump straight into it. Starting off with the challenges, we are on 49% completion right now, which is pretty good. I think last Prestige we were around like 43%, but I'm not 100% sure. So we've made some pretty solid progress this Prestige in terms of challenges. And we're really close to completing that laser sight challenge. And I don't remember like ever using a laser sight, so that's pretty interesting. I don't know how, how I've had 290 kills with it. Uh, but yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to go for 100%. Uh, that just seems a bit ridiculous in my opinion. And we're a bit too late into the year right now. Infinite Warfare's around the corner so I'm probably not gonna get 100% and some challenges in this game are just ridiculous like destroy five EMPs which I don't see myself ever doing so unfortunately I'm not going for 100% but I would like a high percent challenge is complete. But moving on, we finally hit 20,000 kills in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. To be exact, we have 20,478, which is pretty awesome. That's quite a nice achievement. Uh, I always wanted to get 100,000 kills in the Call of Duty title. But I don't think I'm ever going to do that. That is a crap ton of kills. I got pretty close back in Modern Warfare 3. But this year, I've been slacking a little bit. I've only got 20,000. But it is still a pretty nice achievement. We also have 685 wins now and 2.5 million score. Score per minute has dropped off a massive amount. Amount, and I'll explain that later on in the video but the win loss is around 2.7 which is what it's been for a while now and the KD is 1.77 so I think that's actually gone up a little bit. As for weapons, the CUDA is still my most used weapon. It literally has been for all of my Prestige videos. It's just such a good weapon. I've been using it a little bit this Prestige, but not as much as like the MAA7, the Man of War, VMP, Pharaoh, and even the Locust. I've been using that quite a bit this Prestige. And the CUDA is still my most used weapon. It's just got like pretty good damage and it's got really good range as well for an SMG. So it's just an all round amazing gun and that's why it's my most used weapon. Don't really have a lot to say about my score streaks, honestly. We're racking up the kills and assists with the hater which I believe I've permanently unlocked we have 277 assists but honestly I haven't been using many streaks because I've been playing quite a bit of search and destroy and obviously you can't get many kill streaks in that game mode so uh, the kill streaks won't change much compared to last prestige Team Deathmatch is still my most played game mode, no surprise there, I've played that so much more than any other game mode, it's got 200 more wins above kill confirmed, which is pretty mad in my opinion, uh, 342 wins, pretty cool, uh, yeah I played it quite early on in the prestige, say like around like level 10, but for most of my prestige I've been playing search and destroy, which is now my third most played game mode, with 63 wins, that's pretty damn awesome, I'm really happy of that, and Domination as well, been playing a little bit of that, it's now my fourth most played game mode with 60 wins, but I've been playing so much search and destroy it's been really fun to play and if you guys don't play much search you should try it out that was a quick look at my stats let's jump finally into prestige 8 i'm a pretty big fan of the cooling card and the emblem you get at this prestige i would say i prefer prestige 6 and 7 over the prestige 8 icon but the prestige 8 icon is still pretty cool it looks to be like a weird octopus with a red skull on it uh, but the cooling card is really cool as well i really like that i might actually use it in a couple of games so let's jump straight into it Finally, Prestige 8, what should I spend my permanent unlock token on? I think I'm actually going to go with Dead Silence because like I said, I've been playing a lot of Search and Destroy and Dead Silence is crucial in that game mode and you usually don't unlock it until really late. So there we have it guys, finally Prestige 8 in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, we're getting pretty damn close to Master Prestige in both multiplayer and Zombies now, I believe we're ninth Prestige in Zombies, so we're really close in that game mode. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what rank you are down in the comments below, also be sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 3 videos and I'll see you guys in my next video.